everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a get ready with me today. I'm going to be using some of my project pan items so you can kind of see them in motion, but um, just like quick summer-ish makeup today. Um, in a different spot. If you don't know where I am, that's okay. I'm <laughs> in a different spot. This is um, our house in the city. So we have a home in northern Minnesota and a home in the suburbs of Minneapolis. So that's where I am this week. My partner is traveling all week and I haven't seen my friends that are in the city for a while. So I am down here all week and looking forward to it. I feel a little crazy because I've been up since like four this morning because I drove down and it's a few hours. So just like feeling wild. It's 10 o'clock in the morning now. Um, and I realized, Ooh, I'm going to have to be on camera for work soon. So I should probably look just a smidge bit more acceptable. So I packed some makeup for, you know, the week, uh, pretty, pretty much a full face. I have all my options here, but I don't know how much I'll actually like use on my face necessarily. So I guess we'll just kind of find out together, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm also like very warm right now. Um, we don't keep the air on here when we're not here, obviously, like we don't need to be running and racking up a bill and the energy and all that, but, um, it's going to take a minute for the house to like cool down, especially upstairs. Downstairs is just naturally a little bit cooler, but up here it's a little toasty. So I'm starting with priming my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And, um, I think what I'm going to do today is probably just like a concealer base. Like, I don't think I'm actually going to put on foundation. I'm just not, I don't know, not feeling like I need it or want it, but we'll do eyeshadow for sure. That's the fun part. Let's put some lip balm on. This is the, um, Sun Balm Banana SPF 30. This is basically like putting a lip oil on, but I'm not mad at it. Like it's not the most moisturizing thing, but there's definitely a nice slip. So I'm just going to let that soak in. Um, new to my project pan, which I just did a project pan update. I think it's the video before this. So um, I'm working on this first shade in my e.l.f. quad, the um, cream and sugar. I'm trying to finish it up. So that is fun. And um, I'm just going to set my primer down with that. But while I do that, because that's kind of a boring step, I guess I will just start chatting with you guys. Um, I can't believe we're halfway through July. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I felt like last year it took forever to get to the 4th of July. And this year I'm like, wait, it already happened. What? I don't know. Time is just flying by, but I'm loving it. Um, we're up in the Northern parts of Minnesota. That's where we live like 90% of the time. But, um, we live right on a lake, so that's really fun, and it has been so hot. Like, we really need rain, and we need, like, a couple days worth of rain, but I don't know if we're going to get it. It's just super hot, like, mid-80s, 90s, almost every single day, um, especially on the weekends. And so when it's that hot, honestly, the only way to stay cool is to be in the water. So um, my boyfriend and I have been spending a lot, a lot of time at the beach, which is super fun. It's where all of our friends hang out. Like it's a great time, but it is just like, you can't do anything else, but that's also kind of nice. Um, because it saves us a lot of money. We're not like in town going to the bars. I mean, we do, but not as much cause we're out just sitting in the water, you know? Um, so we pack food and we've been, um, like packing sandwiches or like we have a little grill we can grill on if we want to I'm using my um, wild nothing palette the shade I have in here from my eyeshadow roulette is seashells which is the green so I think I'm gonna use that today I love that shade because it kind of turns more like golden green than just green if you know what I mean so I'm gonna use this um, lightest peach shade up here as my transition and I'll probably pick like one of these brown purpley ones to put in my crease and then the, the green shade on my lid um but yeah the beach has been awesome I don't know if you can tell but I am like actually pretty tan um I wear a strapless one-piece swimsuit I've got two of them and I love them both they're both from Amazon I can link them if you're interested but um yeah so I don't have tan lines up here but I have like 
a line across my chest of <laughs> definitely where the sun has not shown. But um, yeah, it's been great. We just literally sit in the water in our chairs and like just drink and chat and enjoy the water. Um, but you know, we're so lucky that we get to do that every weekend. I really, I'm not complaining at all. Um, it's been really good and it's good for like, I don't know, the water just makes me feel calm. So after a stressful week, I just feel good and like recharged when I've been on the lake. Um, and obviously like when it's that hot, you can't just be sitting on top of the lake. You have to be in the water swimming. So that's been really nice and really enjoyable and just getting the vitamin D and we've been wearing obviously a ton of sunscreen, but like getting a little bit of a tan is okay too. <laughs> um, but no, we do take our sunscreen very seriously. So yeah, that's kind of like where I've been. I feel like it's the same thing every weekend, but I'm here for, I like routine. So it's not like a bad thing for me at all. Like I said, we just really do need some rain. So if it wanted to storm, you know, for like two days, I'd be okay with that actually. <laughs> and it'd probably break the humidity. Cause that's the other thing is it's just really, really humid. Um, and you know, I guess like, I don't know if men experience this as much just because of the length of their shorts, but there is nothing worse than sitting down in shorts or a dress or a skirt or wherever. And then your legs get stuck to the, like whatever chair you're sitting on. And then when you get up, you have to like literally peel the skin off of your legs and leave it behind to walk somewhere. And that's just, oh, I can't stand that. Cause you're just sweaty and hot and oh, I am ready for the humidity to drop a little bit. I'm just gonna blend out the crease a little bit more with a darker brown here. So yeah, that's kind of how my summer has been going. Otherwise, um, I'm like really settling into my new job. If you don't know, I got a new job in May um, and it's been great. I'm kind of at the point now where I'm starting to have my own customers and run my own, um, you know, projects and everything so that's been nice but it's also been really helpful um to just see it but my company is very much welcoming I love the people I work with um I just immediately felt very like wanted which my previous company did not make me feel that way at all um okay I'm gonna give my eyes a break I'm gonna put on primer this is the Too Faced primed and peachy mattifying primer I have oily skin and it is too hot so I'm going to get shiny anyway, but I'm going to try. <laughs> so I just kind of pat this all over. But yeah, my company definitely makes me feel like, like they want me there. Part of it too is the size of the company. So I went from a um, couple thousand people company to more of a startup size. We are, I think we're officially less than 50 people actually. So, um, you know, it's just very different and something that I've heard, but now I'm experiencing for the first time is you definitely can't hide at a small company. Like everybody is on a first name basis. Everybody knows what each other does. And there's just so much cross, um, like cross divisional, like work that happens that like, you can't just kind of hide and be lazy about it. And that was something that really bothered me about some of my coworkers at my previous job is, you know, I could give it my all and I could have a teammate give it, you know, 50% and there was no difference in recognition. There was no difference in pay. Like they're really, it, it was really disheartening that, you know, so if you care and you tried, it didn't matter. So it's really nice for me personally to feel like, okay, it matters now and people know who I am and, and there is a recognition involved, you know, when you, when you have a new project or you complete something, like everybody knows about it, which is pretty cool too. Um, so I've really been enjoying that. I like the culture. I like the people. I'm liking the actual job. So things are settling in. Um, the other thing about work though is yeah i'm starting to get my own customers which is exciting to have some more like autonomy because most of this time has been a lot of shadowing and like learning the, i mean the product and the process and all that um 
Okay, I'm going to do concealer. So I have two of these e.l.f. hydrating camo concealers. You might not be able to tell, but this one is actually darker than this one. So this one's going to go under my eye. This one I'm going to use kind of like as foundation, but not really. Just in a few spots of my face um, to even out the tone a little bit. Like this redness needs to come down a little bit. But this is what I've been doing so that it doesn't feel so heavy on the skin, you know? like. So I just kind of do one of those. I hit down here and there. And that's like all I'm going to put on. I use a beauty sponge. This is the one from Ulta that I got a while back and I said I didn't like it. And it's grown on me a little bit, but I still think I prefer the density of the original beauty blender. And I know some people don't, like they prefer a softer sponge. Um, but I just, I don't know, this one's a little bit too soft for me. I feel like I can't, I feel like I can't move the product around my face as much. Like I, I'm a lot more limited and I have to put the product exactly where I want it because I can't rely on the sponge to help me move it around. But I felt like the beauty blender, the original one, I could put product here, but I'd be able to carry it around my face. And I just don't feel like I'm getting that same ability but that's not like a bad thing either but that is kind of like all I'm doing for my face obviously you can still see through it's just a little bit of concealer but man that's really nice to just have a light coat so now I'm going to do under my eyes and I just do one dot here one dot here um and I like to use a brush underneath my eyes because I feel like I can get a better blending coverage. So I'm just going to kind of work this in. It takes me a minute. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the beauty blender. Yeah. I, um, I don't know. It works. Like the sponge I have works. It's fine. But it's, it's just not my favorite. But I'm going to use it until it like starts to rip. I don't, I don't need to just buy another sponge. But, um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, work is good. I'm settling in, getting my own clients, which is cool, and um, some big names, so also cool. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, what else is going on? I don't even know. I have a list on my phone of things I can talk about, though. Let me look at that. Okay, I'm going to set my face with powder. I'm using the Cover FX Blotting Powder which does not hold me matte all day, but I'm also just kind of trying to use it up. I already have pan on it, so kind of like, you know what? I prefer a loose powder, actually, for my oily skin, but coming down here for the week when I was packing my makeup bag, I was like, you know, this takes up less space, and I should probably just use it up, so I'll get good dedicated. I don't think I'll finish it this week, but I'll get good dedicated use. Anyway, um, yeah. What else should we talk about? Um, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments how your summer has been going. What kinds of things have you been up to? I don't know. I think the other thing I kind of struggle with in the summertime is like food. And it's just because I don't always want to turn on the oven and like make the house warm because it's already freaking warm enough. And I don't always want to eat something heavy. Like in the winter, I love like a good dinner with rice or pasta, like really heavy, hearty type meals. But in the summer, I'm just not into it. I don't know. It just feels like it's too much. So I would love to hear from you guys if you have any favorite summer recipes. We do grill quite a bit. And um, so when we grill, we'll grill like a few different things so that we can just reheat it as leftovers. Like we'll grill up like maybe a package of brats and we can just have it for lunch. Or um, I grill up a bunch of like chicken thighs that I cut up and put in salads. But I'm just like hitting a wall of I don't even know what to make and nothing sounds good. You guys ever get that? I really, really struggle with it the most in the summertime. <clears throat> okay, we're going to bronze up a little bit. Um, I'm using my hourglass quad. I think, I don't know. I think the food situation, like I'm more prone to snacking. And even when I snack, like I just don't want a lot. I don't know. It's interesting how our bodies kind of adapt to the heat and the cold and all that. And I never thought I'd say this, but I'm kind of excited for fall just to not be this sweaty. <laughs> Which is such a weird thing to say, but I like summer. I like it a lot, but it's not my favorite. I actually love fall 
and I've started to grow to like winter too. Um, I never really enjoyed the winter time, but this past year living in Northern Minnesota full time, um, I don't know, I guess I also invested in like proper winter attire. Like I have a nice down parka. I've got like great boots, great, um, gloves, like they were expensive, don't get me wrong, but they're going to last their investment type clothing. Um, and once I had that and I wasn't actually cold in the winter, it became a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm just more comfortable in jeans as well. Like shorts are fine and I'll wear them, but I just prefer wearing jeans. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to highlight with this I Heart Revolution Aristocats collection. This is the Duchess highlighter. I've been using this a ton as a body highlight. So I'm going to start with my face and we'll probably body highlight too just for fun. But um, the other big thing is if you don't know, I post um, some financial videos, which I know is like kind of random, but I love... Um, personal finance and have been really inspired to try to be smart with my money as I'm young like learn how to invest my retirement funds and you know just like try to be wise with my money and form habits now that I can actually use later in life um, so one of the achievements I have is I paid off my credit card debt which is awesome so now my only debt is my mortgage which I think is pretty normal um, and I'm not really in a super rush to pay off my mortgage. It's just not something I feel like I need to do tomorrow. Mm. Um, this little mini Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray bottle has gone on me on so many trips, but I just refill it with whatever setting spray I have at the time. But this little spray is such a perfect size. I hope the spray never stops working, knock on wood, because this is the perfect size to pack. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to do brows, but I'm not really going to like put a lot of effort. I'm just going to use a tinted brow gel and pull this mirror up a little bit closer. But yeah, really happy to have paid off that credit card debt. Um, but yeah, I have a whole playlist um, and I can post or link a couple of, excuse me, videos down below if you want to check out. But I share like my monthly budget. I do a recap video then talking through how my budget actually went once the month is over. Um, and I just shared some kind of highlights of 2021. I got a little heavy on this brow here. I got to clean it up. So yeah, that's something that I just kind of started doing, I guess, last year in 2020. Um, I'd watched that kind of content for a long time, but I actually started creating my own. So I don't know if that's for everybody necessarily, but I think it's a cool achievement and I've been able to connect with a lot of really fabulous people um, through that avenue as well. So I'm gonna do my mascara next. I'm using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Now this mascara is one of my all time favorites, but this one is like so, I don't know, thick in product. Like I have so much on the wand, I have to scrape it off. And then when I put it back in, sometimes stuff oozes out of the side. So I don't know what is up with that. The formula is great. It works well. It's just like so much product. I don't know. So I have to be a little bit more careful because I feel like this wand is just so coated, even though I pulled it off um, and scraped it on the top. All right, that is good to go. I mean, it's a little clumpy, but I don't really care. Um, okay, what else do I have to do? Lips. I am, let's see here, what did I bring? I packed a red lipstick, which I probably will not wear today. And I packed a lip gloss. So I guess it's a lip gloss. I'm first going to fill in my lips with this liner. This is in my project pan. I also usually in these videos talk about what I've been watching lately. So on Netflix or no on Amazon Prime, we've been watching Billions, uh, which is a TV show. I think it was on Showtime uh, originally. 
So that's what we've been watching like in the evenings before bed type thing. But on YouTube, I have gotten more into like shop my stash and um, like makeup rehab type series. I don't know. They're just something that's really calming to me about them. And um, of course, I love a good empties video. <laughs> always have, always will. But yeah, that's kind of like what I've been into. I don't have any like super specific channels to call out that like really stand out to me other than ones that I've uh, probably mentioned before. But um, yeah, I can leave a couple of favorites down in the description box if you're looking for someone new. But I don't know. I've just been like into kind of the more calming reflection based beauty content I guess you would say um and like shop my stash is nice to kind of see like different things that people are pulling out and it reminds me oh yeah I should pull something like that too or whatever but it just is nice to not be totally bombarded with buy this buy that buy this buy that um and I'm doing no by July which has actually been going really really well I will talk about that in my low buy series um update but um, I think the like mentality of being on a no buy and like being strict about it is really what I needed and kind of the actual shift. Um, and I do have one thing on my wish list that I will probably buy in August, but everything else on my wish list can wait. Like none of it is actually urgent. Um, and it's also something that like I'm just realizing now that every month there will always be a sale like Nordstrom sale the Sephora sale Ulta will have a sale or like a certain brand that I follow will have a sale so like there's always gonna be a sale and that needs to stop being an excuse for me I don't know if you guys have ever felt that where you feel this pressure that everybody else is buying stuff because it's on sale and then you feel left out um and, you know, I probably will participate in these for a VIB sale. I did not participate in the spring, but I probably will in the winter. I really like the winter sales because of all of the holiday kits and stuff. Um, I especially the first skincare. I love to get like maybe one or two skincare sets and that skincare will last me the majority of the next year. Like last year in November, I think it was for Black Friday, actually, I got the Good Molecules like bestsellers. Uh, kit and I think you know normally it's supposed to be like 80 bucks or something like that and you know they had some sort of deal 15% off 10% whatever it was I don't even remember now but um that skincare has lasted me the majority of 2021 now which is great and it actually you know in that circumstance did make sense um oh I was gonna body highlight wasn't I so that's something that I'm trying to get over and now be a little bit more strategic. So I probably will buy a couple of skincare sets this, um, you know, holiday season, just because that's when most brands actually come out with stuff like that. Um, so you can get some sets throughout the year, but I feel like the holiday season is really where we see the most of it. So I just have this Kabuki brush from e.l.f. That is perfect for body highlighting because it's not too like stark. So I just hit my shoulders, my chest, and I'm going to do down the fronts of my legs, but like you guys can't see that. But yeah, that's kind of just a realization and it's nice to have some other channels that agree with that. Um, so Sarah Rose, of course, is amazing at focusing on shopping your stash. So is Chic Geek. And I also really enjoyed Angela, what is your what is your screen name or your YouTube name? Chaotic, neutral, and dog. I think, I think that's right. Um, I'll link them. But she just did a shop my stash, and she talked about like sometimes you don't see people do shop my stash when they have a smaller collection, but it's still worthwhile. And I totally agree. And I really enjoyed just hearing her mindset of what she was picking and all that. So that's what I've been into, and. Um, you know, I don't really know much else. I feel kind of delirious at this point, but at least I look a little bit more put together. Probably just like pop some stud earrings in to be a little bit more together and then um, probably put a t-shirt on so my bra's not sticking out when I'm on camera. But that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out. Give me some feedback. How's your summer going? What have you been into? What trends are you into? What things are you not into? Any recipes? All the things. Talk to me down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for taking some time to listen to me ramble today. I do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.